Joke cookies. Delectable baked goods with a sinister secret. An extra ingredient was added by self-professed master prankster Rainbow Dash, an ingredient which covered pony muzzles in a strange rainbow-colored substance. This, she claimed, was part of an elaborate prank on the town of Ponyville. Little did she know this unsuspecting town actually suspected much indeed. The town's ponies turned the tides on Dash, making her believe the substance had turned them into mindless, cookie-obsessed zombies. That's the official story. But what if there's more to it than that? Could claims of a prank actually be part of an elaborate misdirection? Is there more to this story than first meets the eye? There are some who find the official story of prank cookies to be half-baked at best. No explanation has been given as to how the substance which results in the rainbow coloration actually works, or how Rainbow Dash was able to replace every single order of the cookies with her own malicious batch. The logistics of coordinating the entire town to reverse this so-called prank are also highly improbable, given the short span of time elapsed. Slowly but surely, the official story begins to fall apart. The idea of toxic chemicals being injected into food is nothing new. On Earth, numerous conspiracy theories can be found regarding the injection of growth hormones into various crops and livestock, resulting in so-called frankenfoods that could be having adverse effects on the people who consume them. Likewise, accusations that the government is putting fluoride into drinking water as part of a mind control program are popular topics in conspiracy circles. Why do such theories persist? One reason is because we put trust and faith in the food industry without even realizing it. We trust that the food we eat will not harm us. We have faith that what we are told is healthy really is healthy. Yet since we need food to survive, we ultimately have no choice but to eat what we are provided. What better way for Big Brother to poison the masses? To facilitate the counterprank, the citizens of Ponyville pretended to have become ravenous zombies. But what if they weren't pretending? What if the substance really was that addictive? What is it? And where did it come from? The rainbow color might be a clue as to its origin. Ever since the early days, rumors have surrounded the mysterious Rainbow Factory, the most popular theory being the systematic slaughtering of ponies deemed unfit to function in society as the source of the brilliant colors. These rumors have never been confirmed, and no disappearances in Equestria have ever been officially linked to the Rainbow Factory, but the princesses have suspiciously refused to allow any investigations. Why the refusal if there's nothing to hide? If the rainbow substance in the cookies is linked to the factory, could the zombie metaphor be even stronger than we thought? And did Rainbow Dash know this when she utilized it? Other sources point to even wilder theories. One pony, who wishes to be identified only as the Doctor, says the substance has links to the controversial Roswinnie incident of 947 NSC. Although the official story states that the debris found on the apple farm was simply a collection of Pinkie Pie's party balloons, eyewitnesses have always maintained that the wreckage was really that of some otherworldly craft. This, in turn, has been linked to the possible origins of the Changelings. Many of Equestria's greatest technological advancements have been attributed to the technologies found at the site, and the Doctor claims the rainbow substance of the prank cookies was one of them. He describes it as a kind of food designed to be eaten in deep space, and allegedly it caused severe addictions in ponies who tried it for themselves. It must be noted, however, that the Doctor's claims remain unverified as of this broadcast. These images, seen here for the first time anywhere, show various ponies bearing signs of having consumed the prank cookies and adopting the zombified behavior. Cookies! Cookies! How many batches of these baked bads did Rainbow Dash concoct? And how far could this potentially spread? In the end, we are left with more questions than answers.
All we can do is leave you with a warning. When you buy your cookies, be wary. The next bite you take may turn you into a mindless zombie craving what you can never have your fill of. And until Celestia and Luna step forward and give an official statement, we will continue to ask questions about... Mmm, mmm. You know, despite that multicolored funk they left behind on my face, those cookies were really good. Kinda wish we had more. Really, really wish we had more cookies. Snazzy, we must get more cookies. Oh.